It's the culmination of a decade's work, bringing back to life three murals installed when St Crispin's School was built 60 years ago. The murals were painted over in the 1970s and used for notice boards. In recent years, two were uncovered and restored, but the third lay behind so many layers of emulsion it couldn't be recovered. So local artist Saskia Hunning was asked to repaint it. Patches of the 1950s work were uncovered to reveal the exact colours and old photos allowed Saskia to produce a faithful replica of the original by Fred Millet. I was yeah, slightly nerve-wracked by <laughs> the fact that it had to sit with the other two paintings and it had to look Fred-like and it had to read, it was my painting and it had to read as a painting as well as sort of satisfying all those other things. So um, quite tricky, but I really enjoyed it, it was lovely, really nice to do. Among those at the official unveiling event was Fred Millet's widow, Judy, who never dreamed she'd ever see these works once more. Absolutely joyful, you know, because they've come alive again and they've been dead or covered over for 30 years, which is just a miracle. You think Fred would be impressed with the finished he work? He would, he would, yeah. The artwork is considered of historic significance in what is a Grade 2 listed building, a landmark of the post-war school building programme. This is such an incredibly important school and people don't realise it looking at the building outside, but it was the prototype development school for the Ministry of Education and the murals were designed in by the architect. So they're not an afterthought, um, they are actually part of the design of the school. St Crispin's is currently celebrating its Diamond Jubilee and now also the restoration of one of the jewels in its crown. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Wokingham.